James Brown, the living legend. James Brown, the man of renown. He's the greatest entertainer that's ever hit any town. He's a man of very few questions, but he has answers galore. You know he'll make you shout and holler whenever he hits that floor? He's the idol of every child. From here to Timbuktu, all you have to do is say, James Brown, and they know just what to do. This is a man that's come from nothing and had help from so very few. But believe me when I tell you, he's the captain of his crew. Although he strives for perfection, but he also means to please. And I know everyone around him. They should, and they do, feel so completely at ease. On stage, he's in another world. Backstage, he's strictly business. There's many that has done him wrong, but that's our James. He's always ready for forgiveness. This story could go on and on, but then what would it prove? That he's a better man than most? Because he's always in the groove. Now he's a dedicated person. Everybody knows that. He's always fighting for the cause. Just when he thinks he's accomplished something, they stop to take a pause. So as long as we shall live, we'll love him with all our hearts. Because to each and every one of us, we know he's done his part. And if we live a hundred years or more, there'll never be anyone greater, no one greater. For well, I'm sure this man will go down in history. It's been predicted, you know, as the world's profound creator. I know I could never end this story, no matter how hard I tried. It could last forever and ever. Because when you're talking about a man like this, you're never reluctant to endeavor. We love you, James. This man will never walk alone. We won't let him. As long as there's a human race. Because we have freedom of speech, you know. To which he keeps a tremendous pace. Now I've seen so many artists but none with so much finesse. No wonder all those girls holler when they see the way he's dressed. He designs all his own clothes, you know. Did I forget to tell you this is Mr. James Brown, the one and only James Brown? James Brown has been around the world, oh, at least a hundred times or more. And all of the people that he's met, his friends, his classmates, Anybody, anywhere, at any time, they've never been a bore. talking about Mr. James Brown. You know, to brag about one person, the way I've been bragging about James, you'd have to love him very much and be part of his great aims. He loves, he thinks, he feels, and he worries, just like any other man. The people know him for his manners and the way he treats his fans. He's always a gentleman. James says, let's not forget those wonderful guys who play rhythm and blues. Everybody knows when he hits town, because those DJs, they're always first with the news. In all his years of entertaining, he's never missed a show, not one. Although a short while ago, he fell ill, you know. I'm sure you all remember. But his motto was, I quote, let's go on with the show. That's why there's nothing in all the books to express the way we feel about 
A person like this, with so much courage and so much appeal. No matter where he goes, in each and every town, that's all over the world. He always says, you know, without you good people, there would never be a James Brown. He's the same little fella from Augusta, Georgia. Now, I'm sure you all remember his recording about staying in school. Telling the kids, look kids, please don't be a dropout. Listen to me, don't grow up to be a fool. Try to get an education. You know that's the only way we're gonna get ahead. Just follow the golden rule. These words are coming from one who knows, me, and who never had a chance to finish school. So get up and fight. Push forward, straight ahead. With reluctance, I'll try to close this short but very true story. It's true, you know, no fiction. And hope I've answered all your questions in every category. You know, I'm just so honored and so proud to be able to tell this story, to be able to be a part of this great man's life. You know, the story is true. You see, I've got to know. Because I love him too. James, we hope you live forever and ever. It's a figure of speech, you know, but that's the way we all feel.